Wealth, I have so many people come to me and say, I want to make money. I say, listen, you're not ready for money. You're not a man. You're a dork. And becoming a rich dork will not make your life any better. Facts. You know what I'm saying? The old way of making money pre-crypto wow. taught you so much about being a man. I see so many of these children just making money on some lucky ass gamble and they ain't learning nothing. And they're just, just geese for famicing. So don't come to Romania, my friend. I've got your, uh, what's his name? Dober squad. All right, me and, my, me and my team. Yeah, bring your 5M. We talk about men and women a lot, and a lot of those points are true because men think a certain way, women think a certain way. But there is also a huge element of just basic human nature. Mm -hmm. So what she said about, I tried to be the nice girl and got taken advantage of. Human nature is to take advantage of people who are too pussy. Mm -hmm. That's human nature. Yeah, That's not about is. man and woman, right? If you're too pussy for your man, he's going to take advantage of you. Yep. If a man's too pussy for a woman, he's going to take advantage. If we're too pussy to the government, they'll take advantage for you know, you're getting four injections. Facts. That's, That's how the world goes, right? So that's not that's even about man and woman. That's human nature. You have to have boundaries as an individual. So I think we it's a lot of these debates, a lot of these things, people get confused. They're like men say men do this, women do this. People do that. Yeah. Right? They have to, let's not confuse it because people do that. They'll abuse any power you give them. Right, that's that's how people do. If you're a female and you're sitting there and you have a man you genuinely like and you actually want to keep him happy, the way you think about it is how can I increase the status of this man? How can I increase his status? How can I make him be perceived? more positively in the eyes of his peers? How can I make other men look at him and be jealous of him? How can I act in a way where people are like, Ross, my man's the big G. That's, that's how you act. And, and you, you put those pieces in line, you're going to have a very, very happy man. It's really not complicated. So when we say things like, we don't want you going to the club, blah, blah, blah. We're not trying to tie you down or freeze you having fun. Okay, yeah, you might get drunk, do something stupid, whatever. It's not even about that. It's about the fact that every single stupid bitch is in the club, but my bitch ain't in the club. And that gives me status. But you Does that make are. sense? Can I? This is what women don't tr seem to understand, right? It's all about status for men. This is the world we live in, and it's extremely competitive. So I, I don't want you to ever... The reason I genuinely say to girls, look, if you have a guy and he actually looks after you and you Slater. truly love him with all your heart, don't be leaving him over some dumb shit. Yes. It's because he ain't doing it because he doesn't love you. That's and this this is that's genuine advice. That's my actual genuine advice. If you have a guy and you know he looks after you there and you can sit with him and say, Why'd you fuck that bitch? And he goes, You know what? My boys are there, I fuck that bitch. I'm sorry. Let me explain the story very, very quickly. Yeah. I believe that money loves speed. And and everybody everybody agrees with me when they say this, but absolutely nobody understands what speed is. When me and my team work together, when I say speed, I say we have an idea at nine AM and by four PM we're making money. Same day, speed. Mm -hmm. So I was talking to some dude and he was like, oh yeah, I've been working on my music. I was like, bro, I saw you a month ago. You were working on your music. What do you got? Because I'm working on the song. Like, a month? A month? I'll climb Mount Everest in a month. You know what I do in a month? Why are you poor? You climb you're poor because you're not trying. Like, a, month, a month I could train for anything on the planet. I'll learn classical piano in a month. He talked to me about making one song no on a fucking auto-tune. So I made a song in a day to prove a point to this mm. dude. And I got more views on my song than his shit song. So, so that, that, that's why. So I was never trying to be serious about it. I was never trying to be a rapper. I'm not. I'm not particularly proud of the song. I don't play it in my car or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just trying to prove a point. Yo, you know trying to prove a point. I think if a if a good woman has a man who genuinely takes care of her and she genuinely believes it's the best she can get, and he goes mm -hmm. out for one weekend and fucks some stupid hoe, but he still comes home to you and you know he truly loves that's you. That's real. I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good enough reason to leave a dude. In fact, I she think that's fucking stupid because the next guy is going to just cheat anyway. Why are you leaving the guy you love? Who's who cheated for a guy who you don't love who's gonna cheat? Exactly. Men do. Sometimes yeah, men do that. Why he's cheating. Sometimes, sometimes men just do things. And let me tell you something. <laughs> because I'll tell you now, a man can be head over heels in love with you, ready to take a bullet for you, and still cheat on your ass. Right. A hundred percent. He can. He can look at you. We're animals. That's, a fact. We're animals. That's a fact of the game. Listen, I've already answered this question. No. Everything ties back into the meta point. I've already given you a baseline you can use to apply to any situation. The reason your man will go to the club and leave you at home mm. and run around with some stupid bitch who ain't even a fraction of you, even though he loves you with all his heart and he'll still fuck that bitch is because that gives him status to be able to say, I went to the club, my girl stays home, I fucked that stupid hoe, my girl didn't even leave me, now I'm back with my chick who I actually love. It's status. He doesn't give a fuck about her. She's a tool to use for okay. status. And okay. that's why I'm saying you shouldn't leave that guy because he actually no. loves you. It's but all yeah. status games. It's status. Oh, baby, no, because now that side bitch can laugh you're at fired. your main bitch and be like, no, yeah, that dumbass bitch, wrong. that whole you're wrong. fucking you're wrong. man. You're wrong. You're wrong. Fuck you, know, you. The reason that Fuck side bitch, you. the reason that side bitch can laugh at you is because you're stupid enough to fall for her game. Fuck. Let me tell you something. With, you no, let me tell you something. If you are a real woman, if you are a real woman, you gave her, you gave her, yeah, you gave her dick. That's right. That's right. Yeah. If you are a real woman mm. and some side bitch messages you and goes, yeah, your man fucked me last night. Yeah, exactly. You'd reply. 
I know when you have a man of certain status who excels in so many qualities, you have to accept, you have to accept on some level that every other female wants him. And although he only loves you, sometimes he's going to do some dumb shit. That's what men do. This right. is the nature of the universe. This isn't even about men and women, right? There's always a downside. If you want the most reliable car you can buy, you don't buy a Ferrari. You buy a Toyota. You buy a Toyota because it always starts. Mm. If you buy him a Ferrari, sometimes it fucks up because it's a Ferrari. 